Hello everybody! In this video you will learn how this horse bonding works and how to get max level fast. This is really important to understand, because if you will be able to get your horse fast to level 4, it will be hard to spook it. This means that he didn't throw you off so easily, because of danger animals or fights. Each level also increases overall health, making it resist more when it gets shot or fall from mountains. It increases also the stamina statistic as well, allowing you to run more time without need to get your horse some rest. To finish the overview, each level unlocks also some special horse abilities. Says all of this, it's time to discuss more in details of this topic. Back to the topic, it's time to explain you different horse levels and advantages to get to this specific level with some tips and tricks about the abilities you can use with this horse. In case you already know them and want to jump straight to the part of the video where I explain how to get easy and fast to horse level 4, use the chapter stem link in the description. The level first is reached when you first time put your saddle on the horse and it will allow you to see your horse in the map. In case if you want as well the horse you see right now, check the respective video in the description that explains how to get it free early in the game. At level 1 the horse didn't trust you very much, so he will throw you down at the moment when you get him too close to danger animals or they will focus at you. In order to reach the next bonding level, you will need to make 400 experience points. Later in the video, I will show you the fastest way to make these points. When you reach the level 2, it will increase horse stamina and health by 1 point. This means that the Black Arabian in this case get to level 7 in both health and stamina. This time, when you get too close to the danger, the horse didn't throw you immediately, but it will get the control moving slightly away from the danger and start to jump to its back feet a few times. While if you insist or force it to go towards the danger, it will throw you immediately down. On level 2 you will also unlock the rare maneuver that can be used on console by tapping R1 plus square on PS4, RB plus X on Xbox and GTRL plus space bar on PC. The maneuver is an animation that is perfect to make some screenshots of your beautiful horse. In fact, when using it, it will jump on its back foot. In order to reach the next bonding level, you will need to make in total 1150 points. When you reach the level 3, it will increase by another point the horse health and stamina statistics. While against the danger, it will be more calm and allow you to force him to go towards the problem few times. But if you force it too much times or the animal will show the signs that it starts to attack you, the horse will get spooked anyway and throw you down. On level 3 you will also unlock two maneuvers, one is skid turn and the other is the skid stop. These abilities allow you to turn easier on more dangerous turns. Or in some cases to stop immediately to avoid to fall down from some hills. The skid turn can be done only while moving by holding R1 plus X on PS4 or RB plus A on Xbox or CTRL plus Mayuksk on PC. At the same time you need to push one side direction button. While the skid stop works the same way, but you have to not move in any direction while doing so. In order to reach the level 4 and the last one, you will need to make in total 2450 points. When you reach the level 4, your horse get another stamina and health point. On the best horse you will get in both statistic level 8. In any fights it will be now really calm and allow you to fight even the wolves without throwing you down. The only moment it won't to do so, it will give you time to react. In fact, before throw you down, it will jump on its back feet and start screaming. In meanwhile, 
If you will use that eye and kill the animal that carries the horse before it will touch the ground with the front foot, it will keep you in the saddle, otherwise it will throw you down away. For the level 4 ability, you will lock two of them. One is called Piafe, that can be triggered by holding the square on PS4, X on Xbox and spacebar on PC, while the horse isn't moving. This will make your horse to do the walk animation without move in any direction. The next ability is the Drift, that can be done holding the previous key and go in any direction. This will allow you to do the side walk, while if you do this while running, it will drift. This is useful to evade obstacles while running or to go around something without need to turn the horse face in this direction. On level 4 also, your horse will use the drift automatically in order to evade obstacles. So, if you have the bad time to see what you have in front of you because you have limited view, just trust your horse and the ride in front of you. In general, all levels also will increase the distance from uh, which you can call the horse. There is a trick on the call to make your horse walk faster, you need to press the call button few times and holding it. To understand if you're doing good, listen the Arthur whistle. If he will do three of them in a row, increasing each time the duration, the horse will come faster. The limit of whistles in a row are three. Anyway, on horse level 4, the distance that it hurts you is huge. To compare, the distance is like from initial camp and the flatneck station. There is also a small trick, if you are upside a balcony or a building and you can jump down, call the horse and wait a few seconds, this way it will position itself below the point you will fall if you jump down. Next, jump down and use the key that you usually use to get on the horse, this way you didn't take fall damage and you get immediately upside your horse. Says all of this, it's time to speak how to level up and some tricks to get your horse level 4 fast. I will start with the first trick. To level up faster your horse, you have to take the shark tooth trinket that permanently increase player's horse bonding experience by 10%. To get it, you have to go in the far northeast uh, to the edge of the map, where you will find uh, also the Anisbrook city. From here, you have to go to the right in the small piece of terrain between the sea and the limit of the map. Here, the road finishes upside a small cliff that seems the limit of the map. From here, you have to follow the tiny pathway to get upside the hill. Then proceed on the pathway along the water until you get to its end. Here you have to jump down and continue going along the terrain, this time swimming. After a while you will see in the distance a shipwreck that is the location of the trinket. That how you can see the map is the real edge of the map. On the boat you will find also a cheat code that says better than my dog that you can enable from the settings menu, but about this topic you will find another video in this channel. Back to the trinket is inside a lockbox inside the bigger broken wooden crate. Now, in order to gain bonding experience points, it is enough to take care of your horse. To do so, you have to use the aim interaction to focus the horse to see all other interaction you can do. The three that give you experience points are pet, brush and feed. The first trick to level up faster is that if you do each time different actions, each interaction will result in gaining points. While if you do always the same, it will take several times to get any points. In fact, for the pet you need to do at least five interactions after you get experience to get more. For the brush, it requires to be done two times in a row to get experience. While for the feed, you can gain experience any single time you do it. For brush and pad, you will earn only one experience points each time you do it. From feed, you will gain from one point for a burdock root up to five points for a sugar cube. After this, seems the easier way is to buy a lot of food and feed it uh, to your horse. 
But there is a small trick that allows you to do it easier and cheaper that I will explain later. For the feeding animation it requires up to 10 seconds for each interaction. Means that by feeding you can earn from 6 to 30 points each minute by constantly feed your horse. But consider that there is a limit of food you can carry that is 3 units each food type for a value from 25 cents to 65 cents each food. If you want to reach the horse level 4 by only feeding, you will need to spend between 100 and 500 dollars in food. Thus, from the time perspective, it will require you between 5 and 25 hours only in feeding, without count the time to go to the shop and buy supplies. You can buy food for your horse from a general shop in the fresh food section, where you will find some local products that usually are fruits and vegetables. This type of food can be given to your horse as well. As an alternative, you can go to any stable where you can find also the most rewarding food in experience, that is the sugar cube. Once inside, under the horse provision you will find some food and potions for your horse. You can switch the menu to see only two provisions if you need. Also, remember to buy some horse revivers, otherwise if your horse will take too much damage you have to start bonding from the beginning if it will die. Anyway, once you get all food you can carry, you can choose to use the feeding method to level up your horse or listen to my own trick to make it faster and easier to achieve the max level. The trick consists in a run with your horse 30 seconds, then use the combo by using the bad interaction until you get the experience. The button you have to press upside the horse is the same you used to pat it previously. Now you have to brush the horse. You can do it from upside by going in the viewpoint selection menu where you can change to the horse menu, where you will see the brush option. In case it's grayed out, just close the menu, wait that the horse finishes its interaction animation and try again. To finish in the same menu you will find the food you have to feed to your horse after you brushed it. If you use this method each 30 seconds of ride, you will gain between 25 and 30 points each single time. While if you run 20 seconds, you will get only 16 points. While for 10 seconds, you will get only 4 points. Consider that if you run more than 30 seconds, you didn't get more points than 30, even if your horse gets dirty and agitated. So, it will take you near 100 combo after each 30 seconds ride. That's equal to spend near 1 hour to get to max level and between 20 and 65 dollars in food supplies. This is way better and less expensive than spending up to 25 hours and lot of money by just feeding it. Without considering that with this last method you can do it while exploring the wild instead of get boring by spamming the feed interaction for an entire day. Just remember to stop often your horse after at least 30 seconds of ride and do the combo.